drastic change today, Natalie. <laughs> and don't say we weren't warned, because you warned us. Yesterday, yeah. And it was the early morning cold front, too. Everybody mm -hmm. who woke up got out to work right around mm -hmm. 7 or 8 this morning. It was 50 degrees. Mm -hmm. And then it changed within a half hour, hour, down to into the 40s. So a drastic change with that cold front that rolled through, and it's just going to make for a very cold night tonight. Right now, we're at 42 degrees in Austin. It was still partly clear skies. Our, our skies are starting to clear more rapidly now. By 8 p.m., mostly clear conditions. That combined with a calming wind as after the sun sets means our temperatures will fall pretty quickly down to about 38 degrees by 8 10 p.m. tonight will be very close to that freezing mark just a little bit above we're all going to be below freezing though through the overnight hours tonight satellite radar shows our cold front now well off the Texas coast taking with it all the rain snow that it caused to our north off to the east portions of Tennessee now looking at a lot of snow but here in Texas the cloud cover eroding across much of our eastern counties now and lots of clear sky out to the west that's going to continue overnight tonight and just look at some of these temperatures that this cold front has brought in. 35 right now in Dallas. It's 29 in Oklahoma City. 38 in Abilene. Still upper 40s in Houston. 50 near Corpus Christi. Front hasn't brought all that colder air there quite yet, but it will through the overnight hours. A little bit closer to home temperatures in the upper 30s in places like Burnett, Llano, Lakeway. Still 43 in Georgetown. 42 in Bastrop and 43 right now in San Marcos. Here in town, 42 at Camp Mary. Partly clear skies. Partly clear 43 out of ABI dew points back into the 20s. That drier air starting to work in with the system as well. And our winds have been breezy all day long. Around 10 miles an hour at Camp Mabry, but 22 mile an hour wind out of the airport. Gusts have been as high as 35 miles an hour through the uh, afternoon hours. But as once the sun sets, a lot of this wind will start to weaken. And we'll see winds right around 5 to 15 through 10 p.m. tonight. By early tomorrow morning, they'll be calm. Now, with the front, it has kept cedar in the high category because of all the wind today. Mold climbed as well with a count over 1,000. Tomorrow, mold could drop back down to the medium category where uh, cedar, though, should stay in that high category through the day tomorrow. Now, here's your forecast for the next 48 hours. Skies clear uh, for the rest of the overnight. That means freezing temperatures by early on your Friday morning. Through the afternoon, with high pressure and control, lots of sunshine expected. Temperatures are going to stay below normal. We'll top out only right around 50 degrees. That's that's about 10 degrees below what we typically see this time of year. And dear Saturday morning, it's going to be another morning with temperatures at or below freezing. But by the afternoon, we'll see our southerly flow kick back in, and that means temperatures will be a little milder. We'll be back into the upper 50s, maybe even low 60s for your Saturday with lots of sun. Now, after this system rolls through, we're watching our next little uh, trough of low pressure and the upper levels of the atmosphere that is going to uh, bring a cold front through on Sunday. I originally thought there was going to be some wet weather with this, but it looks like the system is just dry out drastically so we're taking out all the chance for rain in your Sunday and Monday time frame we will however leave that cloud cover and then the same pattern continues through the beginning of next week so we see little waves of energy roll through upper levels of the atmosphere that'll help keep our cloud cover around and also swing some weak fronts through central Texas through the middle of next week Here's what we're looking at temperature-wise, though. It's going to be very cold tonight. In the hill country, those low-lying areas, the valleys, you could see temperatures uh, drop into the upper teens tonight. Most areas, though, low 20s will be in the mid-20s here in the metro area and along our eastern counties. For tomorrow, highs well below normal. We'll be right around 50 degrees tomorrow afternoon. In Austin tonight, 28 degrees. For tomorrow, 50, your afternoon high. And here's that seven-day forecast. Another freezing morning on Saturday. Sunday, temperatures are slightly better, but then next week we stay a little below normal with temperatures overnight in the 30s, afternoon highs in the 50s.